Hey guys, this is Torna. So it looks like Nowhere Heist is in the game and we can see all the rewards for it and everything. So we're going to be checking that out. But before we get into that, it looks like there's been a surprise drop today for a surgical strike. And uh, now you see me. So both of those events are now live with the Sinister Six and the uh, and the X-Force being required to unlock Doctor, Doctor Octopus and for Invisible Woman. So if you guys haven't got them at seven stars, Make sure you do go check that out. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you in game uh, them, but uh, you just have to kind of trust me that they're there. Uh, but let's have a look at the rewards here. So first up, it looks like we're going to be getting a lot of rewards for the first time rewards. However, after those first time rewards, like this is this is dropping off really badly. <laughs> uh, 30 elite seven credits 15 dark promo credits after the first rewards but the first rewards honestly might be worth it like you've got uh 1250 uh let's see so let's do the calculations here so uh calc whoops calculator so we've got 1250 there so we ne only need uh seven uh we only need uh what is it 2,500 for an elite elite 7 orb so if we can get an elite 7 orb from this which it does look like we are going to get it looks like it's almost exactly an elite 7 orb plus another 75 so we've got 2,450 but then when you add in all of these little rewards down here you're going to get an elite 7 reward so our gear 15 characters worth for that so you're also going to be getting a lot of gold orbs in here as well dark promo credits for the first rewards look decent you've got 230 here you've got 130 there 180 70 50 40 not too bad however keep in mind that on the second run of it you're only going to be getting most likely if you've kind of wanted like take it all the way here you've got 30 credits there and 15 dark promo credits so all up because we'll get seven attempts at it next time as well you'll have 210 uh elite seven credits i don't know if that's really worth it for that and 15 uh 15 dark promo credits again times seven being 105 so 105 dark promo credits once a month so how many months will that take us to complete a full elite four uh, sorry elite seven orb so we've got 30 times seven as i said 210 it's going to take you like a year so once a year you'll get an elite seven orb i don't know um i'd love to hear from you guys what you think because to me it's like not too bad like this is gear 14 that's what i'm thinking of going up to gear 15 let's have a look at the characters here uh just to show you guys who's required nowhere so nowhere heist here so we're going to be required doc ock i think doc ock's a pretty safe bet that most people uh who are at this stage have probably got him to gear 15 and same with kitty i think that kitty's obviously a character required for the doom raids and stuff so not too bad for a character there invisible woman limited viability elsewhere uh but star lord and rocket are the ones that are like do i want to do this do i want to do this or not uh i'm personally going to do it i think what i'm going to do i'm going to take them to gear 14 because i think gear 14 is enough otherwise i'm just going to be hoarding because i'm still hoarding for a tech raid solution this is pretty clearly meant to kind of drain our tech raid stuff so and I, I obviously it looks like i'm kind of falling for that trap but i think having an elite seven and that stuff the gold alone and stuff and it's not even the it's not even the tech pieces that i'm kind of hurting for here like these here i've got 156 i've got 49 and that uh it's just the catalyst like these catalysts here that i'm currently hurting for so i think that i'm happy to kind of take them to gear 14 and kind of leave them there um if you guys are going to gear 15 it i'd love to hear from you uh what you think about like the rewards and stuff this is tempting definitely but gear 15 also just costs a lot uh in regards to not just the catalyst but the um the gear 15 mats as well and most likely there's a tech raid solution in the next 
two, three patches. I know people probably don't want to hear that. You probably want to hear that it's next patch, but I don't think it's next patch, to be honest. They, they're they happy to kind of keep us kind of waiting here. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. This and this going on at the moment. Make sure you get those guys. If you've got them, I think that this should have been announced. Like... The part that frustrates me about this is that they didn't announce it or anything like that. It would have been... It's it's another thing that we talked about the other day, where this would have been an easy win. An easy win to say, hey, guys, we heard your feedback, and we're going to bring back uh, Dr. Octopus and Invisible Woman's events right before the Noah heist to make sure you guys know that you're able to get the characters. But they didn't. It's just such an easy win and yeah, uh, they dropped without any calendars. They dropped <laughs> without anything. Uh, and, and there's no goal. This is no... They said uh, in the blog here that it's going to be rewarding dark promo credits, elite seven credits and gold. However, the gold's like a one-time thing. It's only the first run of this that you're actually going to be getting the gold. So I don't know. That's kind of That's kind of a bit dodgy to me. Maybe the rewards are wrong. Maybe they're being misleading. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of that as well. Anyway, have a great day and goodbye.